My name is Christopher Harrison, and I am a Detroit Lions fan. This is the beginning of my film about the tragedy-infested road to the promised land. I just love being a Lions fan because it kind of means sticking with your team no matter what. Um, we've been through pretty much hell the past decade and even you know before my time not having won a championship since 57. So if you're a Lions fan, that means you've been a Lions fan for life. My story starts long before this. Hey Chris, I don't know if you noticed, but you had a chicken wing thrown at you. But this story starts with the 2012 season. I did this for two reasons. One, we just came off our best season in decades. And two, we had essentially the same team as last season with 21 of 22 starters returning. It's an extremely similar team to last year. And I feel like last year they kind of had a little bit of luck on their side. They kind of they won the turnover margin by a pretty significant margin. Um, you know they had all those comebacks that were seemingly impossible, and I you know I don't really see all that happening again. I feel like all the stars kind of aligned last year, but then again you know I feel like this team's ceiling is a lot higher than you know the bottom of this team. They could go maybe at worst I think seven and nine. At four and nine, the season didn't turn out exactly how we expected. Not quite. We've lost five in a row. We're now at the bottom of the NFC North with no chance of being any higher than fourth place. In a couple of sentences, sum up what you think happened this season. Well, uh, kind of like last year, the Lions had a lot of inconsistencies, and uh, this year they just couldn't turn it around. They had, uh, they had some miracle comebacks last year, and we're getting the benefit of those this year. And, but I mean, they still have some in inconsistent players, so it's not, not necessarily a luck thing, it's just talent's got to play a little better consistently. There were a lot of expectations coming into this year, but having been a Lions fan, you're always a little skeptical. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I mean, like I said, I, I stick through them and watch them, but how could you not lose some confidence after living with Matt Millen for however long he was here? Like, I, if, if if it took, you know, an 0-16 season for, for us to see that Matt Millen wasn't the guy, but, you know, there's, there's a problem with the organization at that point. With the way the season has gone, has it diminished your opinion of the management? General Martin Mayhew, head coach Jim Schwartz, has it diminished your opinion of them at all? Um, not to the extent that most Lions fans seem to be at right now. People are already starting to call off for Schwartz and May, even Mayhew's head. And I think the, the biggest, biggest criticism that I have this year that I didn't necessarily have last year is the risky draft picks. I thought I thought maybe Titus Young would work out. Looks like Javid Best isn't going to work out. They all had you know warning signs, whether it was injury or uh, character issues. And uh, Mayhew didn't seem to have a problem with taking that risk. And I'm, I'm assuming he's probably going to learn. So, you know, I'm not calling for anyone's head at this point. It just kind of sucks that our risk didn't, didn't work out. However, even with a 4-12 record, I have more faith in my Lions now than I have in years. There's going to be ups. There's going to be downs. But for once, I can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel.